Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a feature highlight for the October 2018 update. What other new feature do we get in the well, October 2018 update? So uh, what's happening is that if you guys remember there was something called the snipping tool that you would use to do some screen, screen snips. So the snipping tool um, is going to disappear at some point. You see here it says a hey, snipping tool is moving. Why? Because at some point it will be removed. It's still available right now but um, the reason why is now you've got this new feature called the uh, screen snip. So if you look in your um, you know notification area and look at the buttons there's one that's called screen snip. And this screen snip is nice. So you have this little you know top menu that appears. You can do a rectangular uh, snip or clip. You can do a freeform one and you can do a full screen one. So it's available like this. So what you do is you choose the one you want. So if I want to do a rectangular one for example and say I want to take this area where there's this uh, mousse, I will just do this. Hold the button while I select the area and once I actually remove my uh, finger from the mouse button it just took a snip and here it is. So now I can actually save it somewhere. Say I'm doing a Word document and needed a picture. Well, you know, I just um, can actually easily um, do this and um, I can actually uh, paste the picture of, um, you know, of whatever uh, I want in here. Um, whoops, okay. So here we go. So I can actually do this. Here we go. We got the moose in, in a Word document. You can also uh, go into, of course, your clipboard on the panel. It's showing you that the snip and sketch clipboard is there. It's saved to clipboard. You can click on it and it will open, of course, the uh, snip and sketch area where you can change things. You can draw things if you want. You can modify it. You can add color. You can, you know, do some modifications to it. And then you can, of course, save it as a picture uh, anywhere. So I'll put it here on the desktop, for example, and say uh, snip and click save. Oops, there we go. So now I've got it on my, you know, it's very easy. It makes it so easy now to actually do some screen captures of some kind. Um, you know, I, I, I get all the time people saying, well, yeah, but, you know, there's, you can use the, uh, you know, print screen key and so on. You know, it's not as easy as you think. A lot of PCs, the way that their keyboard is configured, people actually have to do all sorts of weird keyboard things to actually have the print screen work. Here you got a tool that does it and does it well. And not just that, it's not just, you know, doing a, a, a screen capture. It's doing a screen capture of where you want. It's doing a screen capture of just an area. And you can actually modify it, uh, like I just did, which is very beautiful, as you see. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's there's there's a lot of functionalities in here. And I actually like this new uh, tool. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.